With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is in the reaction x plus y forms 2z, 2 mole of x, 1 mole of y and 1 mole of z are placed in the 10 liter vessel and allowed to reach the equilibrium. If the final concentration of Z is 0.2 molar, then Kc for the given reaction is. So in this question, it is given the reaction between X and Y, it forms 2Z. And initially, 2 moles of X, 1 mole of Y and 1 mole of Z are placed in a 10 liter vessel, reaction vessel, and they are allowed to reach to equilibrium. If the final concentration of Z is 0.2 molar, we have to find out the equilibrium constant for the given reaction. So, if we write the reaction first, that is x plus y, it forms 2z. Now, at time t0, that is initially, the x is 2 moles taken, y 1 mole and z 1 mole. So, its concentration will become 2 by 10, 1 by 10 and 1 by 10. Concentration is moles upon volume. Now, it is given that it is allowed to reach to equilibrium. So, let us say at T is equal to T equilibrium when the reaction has attained the equilibrium. The X has A moles less. Y will have the same A moles less and Z will have plus 2, two A moles more. Now, one thing is given that the final concentration of Z is 0.2 molar. So, if final concentration of Z is 0.2 molar, it would be, final concentration would be the final moles that is 1 upon 1 plus 2A upon the volume that is 10 which is given as 0.2 molar. Now, we can calculate the A value that would be 1 plus 2A equals to 10 into 0.2 that gives us 2 and 2A equals to Sorry, 2A equals to 1, 2 minus 1, 1. So, A will be 1 by 2. It means A is 1 by 2. Now, we have to find out the equilibrium constant. So, equilibrium constant Kc is the concentration of the products raised to part their stoichiometric coefficients upon reactants raised to part their stoichiometric coefficient, let's say its x and its stoichiometric coefficient is y for any given reaction. Now, we have to find out the Kc for this reaction. So, Kc would be product is z. So, it would be z square divided by x into y. These are the reactants. Now, the concentration of z would be final concentration is 1 plus 2a. That is the number of moles upon volume. Volume is 10. So, this will be square. And the concentration of X is the number of moles. That is 2 minus A at equilibrium upon its volume. That is 10 into the concentration of Y. That is the number of moles at equilibrium upon its concentration upon its volume. So, these are the concentrations. Now, in the numerator, this will be 10 square. So, this 10 is cancelled by this. Now, we have 1 plus 2a in denominator 2 minus a and 1 minus a. And we have calculated the value of a that is how many moles they have been lost from x and y and how many have been formed for z. So, that is 1 by 2. So, we can put the value of a here. So, that would be 1 plus 2 into 1 by 2 divided by 2 minus 1 by 2 and 1 minus 1 by 2. So, this gives us 1 plus 1 that is sorry this is square. So, this would be square. So, this is this will give us 1 plus 1 that is 2. So, in numerator it will be 2 square and 2 minus 1 by 2 this is 3 by 2 and 1 minus 1 by 2 this is 1 by 2. So, this will be equals to after calculation 4 divided by 3 by 4 which is equals to 
फोर इंटू फोर बाई थ्री दैट इज सिक्सटीन बाई थ्री इट मीन्स द इक्लिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर द रिएक्शन दैट इज के सी इज सिक्सटीन बाई थ्री सो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर दैट इज सिक्सटीन बाई थ्री आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द सोल्यूशन थैंक यू For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.